Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. I just recorded a nice, beautiful, one hour long special for you guys, and the audio was all messed up. And I sounded like a robot. You can see a video of that crap on my Twitter. Follow me there if you so desire. But we did some big things today. I'm just showing you now that we worked on the entrance and I had to do some terrain editing and whatnot to get the entrance just right in the perfect place. And I think it turned out pretty good. I kind of used a little inspiration from like uh, the Disneyland entrance theme where there's a train that runs all the way around the park. And that train has a station right at the entrance, which is beautiful. I think that's going to work out really, really nice for us. I'm a little worried about the scale of it, uh, but we can talk about that a little later once we really get into the episode. It's a little on the large side. Things feel a little tight. It's also very close to the park that I have built originally. And if you look closely, you can see I'm flooded and flush with cash. But that park is making us a lot of money right now, so we got to preserve it and keep it. So I'm a little bit crammed at the entrance, but I think it's still going to work out really, really, really nice. I'm a little bit frustrated and a little down that that episode didn't turn out. Uh, but we're going to try today to record what would be the next episode, but that is today's episode. So let me first walk you through my thought process when I was building this originally, because I think this is valuable and it's a great lesson for you guys can kind of help for projects in the future. But this is uh, not the entrance that we placed. We placed this one over here. But I want to give show you this as an example. This is nice and compact. I used this was an idea that I got from A and O Gaming, which we mentioned in the past. Our good friends, and uh, they they did this thing that I thought was really really cool, where at the entrance you put these information booths right after your your uh, park entrance. So the park entrance is here. Information booths are here. So people can come in and potentially buy uh, stuff right there, which is cool. I don't know if they ever would, like if they go into the park and then buy the priority pass. We'll see as time goes on. Um, but this is a good size as far as the scale. In Disneyland, Disney World and all the Disney parks, they do this thing that I think is really cool. They take a full size large building. You see, I saw this myself in the Harry Potter world where uh, the buildings are normally very, very big, but they scale them way down. It's really cool. They're not miniatures, but they're much smaller than their original versions, but you can still go in them. Um, so I want to kind of try to do that throughout our park is have the buildings kind of scaled down a little bit. It gives a really cool feel. Um, so I didn't want this to be too big. But the problem with this, you know, the information booths fit in here nicely under the train as we put the train station in here. But if we grab this train and we decide we want to add a track, well, you can see there we're already going to run into a problem, aren't we? This is hitting the information booth now. It'll let us place the entrance for some reason. But... And this is building, this whole building is based off of this track. I built on the track of this. Um, so that doesn't work. So what do we try to do? Let's just move it up. Move. And let's just try to get it to where we move it up high enough to where it's going to clear that, right? Let's put it right there. You think that's going to be okay? Looks like we've got plenty of clearance, but we do the track and it won't let us. Auto tunnel is on, it should just burrow right through that, but it's not letting us because it's hitting this. Trust me, I've tested it quite a bit. Um, so you have to have this. To make this work, you have to move this up to about maybe here. Hello, hello. Hi, hi, hi. We're in a bad way here. 
You got to move it to about here. And then... Then you can start placing. So you have to move it very high. By doing that, you've got to really raise the building up quite a bit. So over here you can see... We've raised the building up. This is uh, six meters. A six meter tall wall here. And so is this one. Normal four meter, then a two meter on top of that. It doesn't kill the immersion. These entrances still look good. This all looks good, but it's just a little larger than I'd like it to be. Let's hop into the real world to get a better look. So here we are in our park with our uh, actual situation, how we placed it in here. Uh, looks like I'm going to take care of this real quick. We've got to put some trash bins down because people be littering all over town. Wow. Litter much, you bunch of jerks? Why don't you save the litter for somebody else, huh? Um, but anyway... I'm actually going to pause it right now just so we can talk a little bit. So, uh, this is the entrance, right? You're going to come in like this and you see this big building right here. What I love is that it blocks the view of almost everything. Especially when we come through here and come up, we're going to have a very grand view right here centrally. Uh, but... For right now, just so we can keep our cash flow going, I just brought it over and up. It's going to continue straight on, and then we'll have a main street right here. But, of course, we have to kind of do that selectively as we uh, kind of move the park on. You know, we're going to have to delete some things, move them back, and work like that. But, let me talk to you. I talked about so much stuff last episode uh, that... It was, uh, there was a lot of important stuff that I learned, and after I said them out loud, it was like, okay, that's done, delete it from your brain now. So I'll try to remember everything that I said, but um, as you can see, lots of scenery here. I did the scenery because I wanted to get my park balance bonus up to 20. Um, it was at 17 when I logged off last time, and then I logged in again today, and it was instantly at 27, and I got the challenge, which if you complete the challenge, you get a little money bonus. So that's why I was doing that, just to make a little bit of cash. Um, so that's why there is more decoration than I said I was going to put, because I wanted to get that challenge completed. Also, so but, but I think it jumped up to 27 from 17, because people have, uh, there's there's been some, an, up, an update. In one month, Frontier has made an update, which is fantastic. They're a fantastic company. And this update contains a lot of stuff that we actually haven't unlocked quite yet. Um, as far as I know. Let's see. Scenery theme festive. Yeah, I don't think we have anything under the festive. Um, let's go custom. We might have to unlock it. I'm not sure. Yep. We haven't unlocked anything for it, but uh, there's just a bunch of Christmas and winter and snow stuff that you can do, uh, which isn't going to be very applicable right now, but I think we might do that as part of our park. I think that could be really, really good. Um, so anyway, yeah, already Frontier coming hard with the update. You see my money situations at 123000 monthly profit right now. And near the end of the month, it's almost $6,000. The way I've made all this money is I just let a little bit of money generate. I got up to about $10,000. And I didn't have to wait long. And then I placed this coaster right here, which costs $6,000. As soon as I put this in, the money went through the roof. I made a ton of cash off of this, um, which is really great. And then after I made more, I put this guy in. And then I started marketing to teenagers who seem to prefer these types of rides. And uh, the rest is history. Just made a bunch of cash from there. Something that's very, very cool that I think is going to benefit us. Since we've been doing it like this, we're making all this stuff that will eventually be removed. Is we're getting something that will stay and be very valuable to us in the future. Let me show you. Under park management, we go to staff and we check out our janitor. 
I've trained him up to a level four janitor and he is killing it. His workload is normal. He's dominating. And as a matter of fact, we could bump him to a level five right now. And let's put this to 210. We've also got this mechanic who's at level four. We could bump him to level five as well and pay him 360. And hopefully he remains happy. I might be paying him a little too much, but hopefully that's okay. So this guy is going to be making us... Uh, he's going to be making our life a whole lot easier because he's repairing things at a very fast rate. He's super efficient and uh, that's going to be good. That's going to be very good for us down the road. We don't have to hire a bunch of mechanics. We don't have to hire a bunch of janitors. I'd ideally like to have just a few and have them trained at a very high level and then, uh, you know, not have to spam the place with them. Oh, I just saw our janitor over there. There he is. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Where did he go? I lost him. Oh well. Is he headed over here to do some cleanup? Because we really need it. Come on over here, buddy boy. Um, I'm happy with my job. So we gotta focus on that sort of stuff. Make sure that they're all happy all the time. And we'll cheat and set it to, to daytime. But the reason why I made so much money so quickly is because I'm on easy mode. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, but... As you can see, this is not complete. This is uh, this needs some work. This building, I've just got it to where you know I think it's it was time to place it. Um, but yeah, we we will see. I I wonder if we're losing a lot of money off of these uh, off of these information desks. That's a lot of information desks there. Let's click on you and edit. And oh, you're happy. You cheer. Um, it's not showing me anything. Hello? Information. Okay, we can just see here. Zero dollars. That's okay. That's okay. Well, I can go through all this later. This isn't super uh, important. But you kind of want to make sure that... Okay, 650. Are they all at 650? They might be. They've added some macro managing tools, which is really, really nice. Um, I think you can go in and you can pay people a certain amount. Right? Shops and attractions, shops. Price sync. Okay, here you go. So we could sync these together. Price sync, unsynced. This is very good. So we could sync these all together and have them charge the exact same amount. That's that's really cool. I'll work on that a little bit later because we've got this information here. Oh, it's 650 as well. And it's losing a lot of money. That's one thing that I'm a little concerned about. These priority passes. Um, I've set these priority pass lines up pretty efficiently, I think. Right at the start, right at the finish, right at the start. Right at the finish, even over here, right at the start, right at the finish, on almost every ride. Um, and a few people buy them, but it's not much. Most people say you're for suckers, and if I raise the price anymore, it gets worse. Uh, if I lower the price, it loses money. So these tend to be pretty inefficient as far as I found, but maybe as the park progresses, they will become more efficient. All right, everybody, old V-Dubs needed to take a little bit of a break and uh, kind of just recollect himself. It's been a tough day again. I mean, I, rarely in all my years, five years of uploading videos, no, they, I've never really had much trouble much frustration. I usually just enjoy it. And this Planet Coaster series is one of my favorite series I've probably ever done. I could play this and record this all day long. Uh, today, one hour episode and ruined. So it kind of sucks when you get blasted like that. But did a bunch of off camera work and I've got the entrance even prettier looking. I think since we're going to be calling this the happy place, fa happy face place. That's the name of our park. Uh, the Jester. The Jester's perfect. 
happy. He makes you laugh. He's a funny guy. So I think the Jester will kind of be like our uh, our little mascot a little bit from time to time throughout this park. I know that we can't hire. Uh, let's check on my staff again real quick. High workload. Freaking out. Uh, let's improve them and hit them at 240. Get them paid a little higher because they're going to want more. You're doing great. He's at level 5 now. Those guys, I'll work on them later. He doesn't really need that much, but he will eventually. Um, so yeah, I got this place all detailed up. It's a l looking a lot nicer. Uh, especially, you know, with all this decoration on this side. Obviously this side, not so much, but I'll get to that. And it's going to be a lot of copy and paste. Um, this has been very difficult for me. This is taking a lot longer. If I was building that old style with the wooden... The wooden pieces, uh, cakewalk, cakewalk. I know all the wooden decorative pieces that you can use, uh, but to get detail and stuff without using wood is very difficult. You can see I even used some wood here, but I've tried to challenge myself to stay away from that and use more stone type materials. And I think, I think we got a nice looking product. I think overall it's not super busy. Well, it's fr pretty freaking busy, but there are areas of you know, where it's not too bad. Um, but I think as a park entrance, this is going to be awesome, especially when the train starts coming in and we get that functioning. It's going to be pretty sick. All this building, and I didn't lose too much money, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I just put this fountain in here. I noticed as well, as I was putting this fountain in here, these pieces that I used over here... I didn't think that they spit water out, but they surely do. So, gonna have to find a replacement for those. That's okay though. Um, so now what I'd kind of like to do, and we'll do this together, is we will um, go into windows and window decorations. And we'll see what we can't do about making a little bit of a fence situation here. A low, a low fence, nothing, nothing crazy. Height wise, that's pretty good. It's pretty low. But I think it'll work. I might come in and do something a little more drastic. Um, you know what? We can. We can do something a little more drastic. Let's make a new building. Okay, let's be a, it'll be a team together. We'll make a new building. We'll just grab this guy right here. And we'll definitely get him on the proper angle. And we'll shove him in the, into the ground. You go down there. Good job. Okay, now we're going to walls. Wall decorations. And there's a classic brick decorative piece that I like a lot. So we'll take him. And... Actually, I really would like it to match these colors over here. Um, so let's try to grab that color. We can go in here and we can say, okay, what color are you? And copy. Very good. And leave that building. Uh-oh. I found my building. Oh my gosh, what a miracle. Um, edit building. Very good. Okay. Now we can change at least this color. I kind of don't want to risk it much further than that for the moment, and I think it'll probably work out well enough. Um, we could even just paste and get a little more color in there. Just try to wing it and play it by ear a little bit. That looks good. You can see it on the ground. There's a little bit more red in it. Good. Okay, X. Bring this down to here. And here... Okay, that'll be good. And double it up, probably. That's good. All right, and then keep editing that building. We're gonna go into the window decorations now and then we'll try to get this guy. And we'll try to just finagle him onto here, like so. Nothing super special, but enough to, you know, to make it, make it look a little nicer than it did. And it raises it up to a proper height as well. 
Okay, it's a little weird, but it's gonna work. And we can even actually move this one. And, ugh, it's gonna be weird no matter what. We're just gonna try to have to find the best place. That's good. Okay, very good. So we can take this building now and we can control X and slide it on over. Is it on a weird angle? It's on a weird angle. It's not playing nice. That's okay. All right. And bring that all the way around. Okay, got a little fence situation there wrapped around. That's nice. Then we can get a little bit crazy with our scenery. We have these paths in here, but that don't mean nothing to be does. That don't mean nothing. Go in here, we grab some bushes, and I think if we just kind of hit it with a little bit of this action all over the place, that could be kind of nice to start it out. And let's turn the old uh, snap action off. Uh, people will walk through here because there's path, but that is not going to bother me so bad. Okay, get this in here, and then we can add some more nice decorations all the way around. I'm not going to put too much in that tree, or uh, too much of the bush inside of that fountain. Don't want it to overlap too much. Just get that in there. The fact that it's overhanging a little bit is going to be some nice added atmosphere. That's good. Get you like there. And one like that. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Let's see if we can't get this in here. Yeah, that's going to work out actually. Um, okay. Go like that. And bring this over into there. Yeah. That's good. Okay, we got those guys in. Now we add a little bit of this, these bigger bushes, in here. And that's just going to kind of help fill it out a little bit. Very nice. And maybe, maybe some of rose bushes. Oh, yes. Oh, you're gorgeous. And you know it, don't you? Yeah. Beautiful. We make this just real, real pretty out here. And actually... Those other bushes I put in, they're just kind of filler. They're not really doing a whole lot. Boom. And get one right here. Oh, that looks so beauty. <gasps> New flowers, everybody. Oh. Yes, you can go anywhere. I'll put you here and here. Just randomly. Oh, I like these new flowers. Oh, that's right. And the other great thing that they added, they added these uh, colorable flowers. So you can go here. You can just pick any color you like. Blue? You a big fan of blue? Okay, you got it. Have some blue flowers at the entrance. Huh? Oh, that's beautiful. I'm so glad they added that. What a fine addition. Flower color picker? I'll take it any day. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Maybe we get a little bit of double up right there and then bring one out here so it doesn't look so perfect. Oh yeah. That's wonderful. I love it. So this park entrance now. Now we've got a really nice proper park entrance that we're dealing with. I think it looks wonderful. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm not happy with how today's episode go went. I'm not happy with how late the upload is going up. But I'm happy with just about everything else. So, a positive overall. A very good thing. Let's check our notifications. Make sure everything's fine. Uh, Gulpy Energy has closed. Okay. Um... Did I click on the right thing? No. Hello? Not Wild Blue. Thank you. Let's open this up. And I'll train him eventually. But, uh... Work harder, stupid. Alright. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Right now, this...
This is on how many pieces are we at? 663. As long as I can keep this under 2,000. I can put this on the Steam Marketplace for you. So, I still have the other side to go. That'll get us to probably 1,200. I think we're going to be below uh, the 2,000 mark. So, I'm going to get this wrapped up. And probably next episode, it'll be up on the Steam Marketplace for you. So, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, life in a if I could take you up in boom, 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 bo